good morning students uh, myself professor dr s b yadav today i am going to talk about x interest and com interest the concept is very important for where that the investment the person uh, invests that money in shares or debentures at that time x interest what do you mean by x interest and what do you mean by com interest most of the this uh, time students get confused in this x interest and com interest so today i am going to explain in detail what do you mean by x interest and com interest let us start what is x interest and what what, what do you mean by uh, com interest first of all x interest x interest is nothing but uh, interest uh, is price is excluding uh, interest that means the price doesn't include interest what is com interest the com interest means the price uh, which is including uh, interest that means whenever investor purchase any bonds or shares that price cost plus interest that he has to pay i am going to explain you uh, regarding uh, this x interest and com interest uh, with the help of suitable example now here example of x interest first of all i will i will take that the example of x interest say on uh, 4 july uh, 2021 ram want to purchase 100 debentures 12% debentures of rupees 100 each of info limited from mr sham where interest is due on 31st december every year that means info limited is going to pay interest on 31st december only and their year ending is 31st december and year starting is 1st january now in this case ram asks mr sham what is the price of the debenture second question that uh, asked uh, sham will ask sham said the price is say 108 rupees then next question ram asks is it com interest or ex interest because ram want to purchase that uh, bond and he wanted to know that whether that 108 rupees this is the price 108 rupees which include interest or exclude interest that means in this price what is the cost price and what is the interest price that he wanted to know next that sham said it is a com interest com interest means this 108 rupees include interest that means he uh, ram has to uh, don't have to pay uh, interest extra whatever 108 rupees per debenture he has to pay ram paid 108 per debenture to sham that is uh, 100 multiplied by 8 uh, uh, 108 is equal to 10800 rupees so this 10800 rupees is the price that the ram uh, paid to sham in above case the bifurcation of 10800 is as follows now how this 10800 that they have arrived now 10800 in this 10800 what is the cost and what is the interest that we have to find out now in this uh, 10800 this 10200 is a cost plus 600 is a interest how this 600 is calculated this has been calculated by uh, this uh, formula that 10000 rupees multiply by 12% interest so 12 divided by 100 multiply by 5 divided by 12 and that is equal to 10800 and that 10800 the price 
is called as a come interest price why this is come interest price because this include 10200 and this include 600 also and that's why this price is called as a come interest price so here when the uh, interest is included that is called as a come interest price again i am going to explain uh, this uh, x interest and come interest suppose the cost is 10200 in our example also the cost price of the debenture is 2000 uh, 10200 if you add that interest in it 600 rupees it becomes come interest price So here, come interest price becomes ten thousand eight hundred. See this, ten thousand eight hundred. Now, what is what do you mean by x interest price? The x interest price when out of the total price ten thousand eight hundred, when you deduct this interest, then only remaining is nothing but what cost. So this cost is nothing but called as the x interest uh, price. So This ten thousand two hundred is nothing but the x interest price. Now let us uh, see what is the journal entry because as an accounting student we want what is the journal entry for this purchase transaction. You know that we purchase debenture. That means debenture is coming in, and we are giving paid interest. We are paying interest. So interest is the expenses for us. and we are paying what cash so here cash this is what credit because it is going out okay from me that cash is going out from ram to sham okay then what should be debited the bonds that should be uh, debited why it should be debited because bonds that is debited that is comes in who uh, pays that uh, who gives that uh, bonds sham gives bond to ram so that's why it should be what debited because this is a real account and you know the golden rule of the real account debit what comes in credit what goes out next thing is that what about interest who's paying interest to whom now ram is paying interest to sham so for ram it is debited because it is expenses so ram ram paying interest to sham so it is a expenses for ram because we are writing that the journal entry for mr ram so what will be the final journal entry for uh, this uh, purchase of uh, debenture or any bond the final entry is nothing but first bond account debit 10200 which is cost always remember that we have to take it as a cost second thing is that interest account debit 600 because the 600 rupees that we are paying so expenses so this is journal entries in in the books of ram so for ram it is an expenses and expenses that's why we are debiting uh, this interest so interest account debited 600 you know that how we calculated the 600 the 600 is 12% on 10000 for 6 months so it is obviously if you calculate that uh, it comes to 600 rupees and it is an expenses for ram and that's why we are debiting then what should be the credited the credit should be whatever total price okay whatever the price is there that price should be credited and that we are going to pay in what cash or bank so always remember for purchase of any bond any uh, debenture which is fixed rate of interest because you know that there are two types of the investment one is fixed rate of interest and another is non fixed rate of interest non fixed rate of interest 
so today uh, we have learned what is x interest and come interest in the next lecture we will learn about the examples of uh, x interest as well as come interest thank you